What's up, everybody? Um, I know that I s said that the last unboxing for from Wish was the last one, but this one is. So, um, this I'll tell you what it is right off the bat. It's a green screen stand. So, I made my own out of uh, PVC piping, and it worked, but it was very flimsy and it's kind of annoying to deal with. So, I bought this one actually from Wish. Um, well, obviously one of the vendors off Wish, but this one's supposed to be a green screen holder itself with its own bag, all that happy horseshit. So, let's uh, open her up and uh, see what she looks like. So, right off the bat, comes with two clips, and these are actually, the spring on these for the tension is fucking insane. So that will definitely hold a green screen material. And they're actually already bagged up, which is nice. Velcro off. And it actually comes in three pockets, as you can see. And we will go down this one first. Okay, I'm guessing that's going to be a side, because it's a tripod design. And I'll take them all individually, too. Mm -hmm. Alright, we got some more metal rods. And I'm assuming this last one's going to be another tripod for the other side. And yes, it is. The bag is empty now. Let's open her up. Okay, so... I guess what you do is... I guess make sure it's nice and loose. That might help, won't it? Pull these legs. Um, oh, there we go. One of them wasn't fully there. There we go. Pull that down. And you can pull it to basically nothing or wherever you want the stance to be. Tighten the wing nut down there. And you have a side done. Let's see if I can zoom it in far enough for you to see what I'm tightening here. Alright, right here. What I'm tightening, I'm tightening this wing nut right here, and it squeezes these two pieces of plastic right here. So basically it kind of binds it in. You can't really move it, so it'll hold its tension, which is actually really nice. Alright, so I'm going to move this out of the way, and uh, I'm going to tighten up the next one. I'm going to try to get a setup in this little tight area we got right here. So let me just zoom that all the way out. Get my damn coat off because the heat, heater finally kept up with the room. So you can see my lazy pants. Alright, so this one is going to be the same. Loosen that up. Get all three legs out. Alright, so I'm going to try to get it adjusted roughly the same as the other one. Let's say right about there. And tighten her up. It's nice and sturdy. So now what we're left with is a bunch of these rods. All right. They're all individually wrapped. And this one is different than these. Um, now how this is going to go, I have no idea to be honest. Alright, well that extends up, which is fine and dandy. Maybe I should 
see if there's any instructions. Uh, returns are easy. I don't care about a return. There's no instructions there. That's a UPS label. Could there be any instructions in this bag? Negative. So, uh, I guess we gotta wing it. Inside of that, I would think. Let me see. Okay, well, that can be tightened down. Okay, so you can actually adjust the width. Now I got it. I'm only going to have it the skinniest that I can get. So basically, what this bar is for, let me um, reposition the camera so you can see what's going on here. Okay, I zoomed out all the way I am, I get both of them in here, okay, so basically what we're going to do is it came with three bars like this, so as you can see it has the push on this side to lock it in, on this side just hollow holes. So, in order to get this to go onto a bolt, what you're going to have to do is you're going to have to convert this into the, other, into the open hole. So they have one bar like this. The open hole is on this side, and the big open hole is on the other side. So, and it came with three of these to make it ridiculously long, which we don't need it ridiculously long by any means. So, what I'm going to do is lock it in, move that to the side, now what I'm going to do, come on, focus on that, camera's trying to focus, there we go. So I'm going to loosen this guy up. It looks like it has a two washers. So one washer is going to be on the bottom. And the other one's going to go on top of it. So what I'm going to do now is I'm going to just loosen the other one. It's off camera, but loosening the other wing nut, taking one washer off. Now what I'm going to do is I'm going to move them farther away from each other, and I hope that I have enough room here. I kind of work in a very tight and confined area. Oh wow, that's, that's much longer than I was expecting. I wish I could have it a little bit shorter, but I can't, I don't think. Now I'm going to have to find out. I don't think I've seen any holes. No, no holes, okay. Okay, so... Alright. As you can see, that one's on. Okay, so I got them on now. So, as you can see, it starts right there. And it goes all the way over to there. So, it's definitely a long one. So, let me um raise it up to operation height.
But before I do that, might as well show you these. So, since I put the pipe through, what you're going to want to do now is put the washer on top, get your wing nut, thread her down, and don't crank it down. These are hollow to type of piping, okay? And they're aluminum, so they will flatten very easy. So, since you have that, I'm going to loosen the lower, lower wing nuts first. And uh, I forgot that one I loosened. And so far I'm up here. Oh my god. That is ridiculous. And, oh, oh okay. So that one's maxed. I'll tighten that. That one's maxed. I'll tighten that. Okay. Let's see how high we can go. Okay, that's just that that's just ridiculous. It's less than like six inches away from my ceiling and um I have to yeah, I'm I'm just it's not even maxed out. Okay. This is fine, this is a fine height. So what I'm gonna do is hang on for a second. break out the nifty material I also got on Wish. And I haven't opened this either, hence why it's so beautifully folded still. I have no idea how wide this is going to be or anything about this. Dear lord, it's huge, well it feels huge at least. So, okay, that, the thing is massive. It's still folded in half here. Um, bear with me, I gotta find out where to put everything. So this is massive. Go back in half. I don't need you any bigger than half. <laughs> and, let me uh, find out what, there they are. Now, we're going to use these. So what you're going to do... So you're going to go up to... Not drop them like I'm doing. How I'm going to do it, if it works for me. Alright, so you get a little bit on each side, flip it over, and you can pinch them, just like that. So, as you can see, the other side's not up, so I'm going to do that side now. Once I find the clip that I dropped. Here it is. So I'm going to do the same thing I did to that side, so you want to flip it over, and this is actually still, this is folded in half, Jesus, I'm trying to get it to be as flat as possible. It 
Let's see if that will work for me. Okay. So, at the end of it, you will have a green screen. Um, it just got unfolded, so of course it's going to have you know the marks in it, but that material is folded in half still. And the width of that goes two-thirds wider, if I wanted to, for the stand. But yeah, so I'm going to test it out right now, and uh, we'll see how it works. Um, it's a solid color, so it should work perfectly fine. Um, it's a thick material. It actually does feel nice. I mean, it's folded in half, mind you, but it's still pretty thick. You know, it's a solid color throughout. And, uh, yeah, it's actually pretty decent solid construction, actually. So we'll see how she works. And, uh, yeah. See you in a second. Yes, it works. Um, I didn't fine-tune it, and I see slight discoloration around me right where it stops. You probably can see it, like, at the bottom of the steam thing for my right hand. I guess you are left. But I see a slight, you know, light color, but it's not bad, actually. And I don't know why that loves going windowed. But anyways, I figure we'll try it out on a race or two on Dirt Rally. Why not? I just got the game working again with a new driver, so I'm excited. Um, I finished a few championships and made the mistake of buying a Ford rally car, which in real life is badass, but I cannot drive it for the fucking life of me in this game. Oh, damn it, we have to check the graphics. I think the graphics got reset on me because, yeah, they don't look as nice as they used to. But, fuck okay, it, let's go in. And I would do in cockpit, but I've driven right hand drive cars before. Don't get me wrong, I've driven right-hand cars before, but in a video game, I got off well at it, and I've never raced a right-hand drive car, I've just driven them for state inspections. So, let's see how I do. Yes, I'm using an Xbox Five, Family controller on a PP game. Master Race one, Rage. Go. Right three continues for 100. Left six over jump maybe 100. Right six through dip 80. Caution left five over jump. 60. Left three half long 60. Left four continues past junction opens. And left five. Right four, turn three, into immediate turn square right, go cut. Sixty. Okay, that's what happens when you don't pay attention to the uh, co pilot. You have no idea. Right into left six, long. Into left six, half long. Sixty. Crest into square left, late, go cut. Eighty. Right six through dip, crest. Into right one long, into left one long, into turn right four tight, and right four half long 80, right two times to one 60. Right six over crest. Left four long. Oh, it's actually not bad at all. And left two. It's actually driving over here. Open 60. Left five long over crest. Right six. Left six. Continues over jump. Right six. Right four left six. Jump. Keep mid. Oh, yeah, that car. Left six. 
on the road. Into right five, so under cut steer. 60. Turn right two. Right two. Into left two, open to long. They might have your next left six. Trainer. this green screen is working pretty fucking fantastic though now I will link everything in the description I got both of these at wish um, and one person in my headset um, review asked if uh, they if wish sent me these items and uh, for me to review no I actually purchased all these things myself um, and we decided to buy a few things uh, few useful things as well as a head uh, the headlamp um, the seven port hub which for some reason that's somewhat working on my HP uh, computer thing um, not fully it, it, it's freaking out and then it's working and it's freaking out either way I still stand by what I say it's not worth it um, the bottle opener is just, it's just badass um, the green screen and stand um, it's useful for me so that's why I got it so if anybody else is wondering if you know this was a sponsorship, no, I only have like a thousand or two thousand subscribers. There's no way in hell any company would even think about sending me anything. Um, so all this stuff I actually bought myself. Um, but yeah, to answer if anybody else was wondering that. But as far as this shit behind me, fucking worth it. Definitely worth it. Um, it's sturdy enough. You know, you can collapse it down easily. Um, the green screen material is thick, it's solid, as you can see, you can't see it behind me. You know, I'm just, if you don't want to listen to Anthony, you can listen to the fucking weird head that keeps coming out of the ground every time it shows that, yeah, so. <laughs> what the fuck is wrong with me? Anyways, fantastic. That was the green screen stand and material unboxing set up and review in one shot and it's fantastic so thank you for watching i appreciate it make sure to like comment subscribe share blah 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 you hear it every video from 90 percent 99 percent of youtubers you know the spiel till next time have a good one <laughs>